But yeah, the Slack is back. All right. Sorry about my absence. Uh, last week, I had to do my taxes. I do my own taxes here in Montreal, Quebec. It's tax time, and the deadline is tomorrow at midnight. Da, 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 da. We have to, to file our taxes, our income tax, our yearly income tax return, and I don't um, pass it off to an accountant because it would take just as much time to gather all my information for an accountant as it would be to just simply do my own taxes and besides i like to have a very hands-on um you know approach to forking over my yearly pound of flesh my yearly fucking pound of flesh that i gotta give to give to the government so it's all done now and i'm ready to rock and roll uh, number two i wanted to create a special build i promised you guys an automatron dlc real walkthrough and after much consideration, I decided to create a special build for this walkthrough, okay? And that's another thing that took up a lot of my time last week. So I've got this build together. Um, just let me quickly run through it. It's level 19 now. It is what I'm going to call a Stormtrooper build. It's a power armor build specializing in laser rifles, all right? And let me just quickly show you the perks I got happening here um let's go through the attributes first of all yeah okay so i got strength up to four this is only because uh i want to get blacksmith i want to put some perks some perk points into blacksmith that's not for me that's for my companion to be and for those of you who don't want to hear any spoilers that's all i can say for now i have a companion to be that's coming on board very soon in this walkthrough okay so i got strength up to four to get the blacksmiths get some perk points into blacksmith uh perception i've got up to two just to get the rifleman perk all right and i use the, the perception bobblehead to do that i have three points in rifleman uh endurance i maxed out to the bottom right to the bottom up to 10. i only did this to get as much health as possible because when you're playing automatron you really got to be able to soak up a lot of damage Either A, you got to be able to soak up a lot of damage, or B, go stealth. And I'm already doing a stealth build. I decided against using my stealth build to do the Automatron um, DLC walkthrough because I thought this would be a lot better. All right, so I got Endurance all the way up to 10, and I do have two points into Life Giver to give me even more health, all right? Um, no points in Charisma, all right? I have no Charisma whatsoever. I have absolutely no Charisma. So that's it. Um, intelligence, I've got all the way down to nine. I originally put it up to eight, and then I went and got the intelligence bobblehead at the Boston Public Library, which is very easily acquired. I got it up to nine so I can get the nuclear physicist uh, perk, which will make my fusion cores last a lot longer. All right, uh, very important. I have barely anything in agility. I use the special book that is found, uh, at least beneath Sean's crib here in sanctuary i use that to get uh agility up to two that's just to give you know anybody who's following this walkthrough some options so that you could go either commando or rifleman um i decided to go rifleman because i'm already doing a commando build a power armor commando build uh with my survival beta walkthrough over my other over on my other channel major slack videos all right so this is you know always trying to like diversify and you know you know show different things so this is a rifleman build no melee, just rifleman. And finally, I put three points into luck so I can get the bloody mess um, perk, okay? So now I have two points in that, and I have 10% extra damage in combat, right? So that is that. That's what's going on with my perks and my attributes. So let's back out here. Um, armor, like I said, it's a power armor build. This is what I've got happening. It's a fully, what I would consider a fully modded T45 power armor set uh, I have calibrated shocks on the legs uh, meaning that gives me more carry weight uh, I went and got this piece of <laughs> part of my French shit I have I have no idea how to strategically put this legendary ability to good use this is what you get this is your reward for doing the Cambridge polymer labs quest and you do that quest by simply entering the Cambridge Polymer Labs building, all right? If this is just south of the Cambridge Police Station, okay? The Cambridge Polymer Labs, go into the building and you kind of get locked down into the building 
and you do this quest, you kind of like um, collect uh, three different special parts and you put the special parts into this experiment. The experiment spits out this legendary <coughs> quote end quote power armor chest and its ability is radiation exposure increases action point refresh speed. Now the only thing I could think of doing with this is basically standing in water and doing power attacks with the you know with a melee weapon. Other than that, unless there's a storm happening or you're spending a lot of time down in the glowing sea, I can't see any strategic use for this this weird piece of power armor. I only got it because at the, the time it had Model B, um, what's that called? Material mod or whatever. Uh, it had Model B at the time that I was, uh, yeah. And everything else on my power armor had Model A, so I just went ahead and got it to just give me a little bit, a little bit more damage protection. But you know, other than that, that's the only reason I got it. Um, scrubbing. Here we go. I got. Um, let me get out of here. Let's continue to run down the mods I have. On the helmet, I have rad scrubbers. This will allow me to eat. This will take away all the rads out of any food okay so I can eat any kind of prepared food you know like cram or instant mash anything like that anything like that and it will take away all the rads from it so this gives me a lot of options when it comes to eating to recover my health by the way I'm playing on very hard okay playing on very hard um, what else have I got here all my pieces uh, continuing with all the mods here all my pieces have explosive shielding alright so this will provide extra protection against explosions and I would highly recommend this because as we push into the Assaultron uh, quest line you're going to be dealing with a lot of robots and a lot of these robots self-destruct when their health gets down to a certain point and or when they die and the, the explosions they set off is just it's catastrophic it's like these nuclear warheads going off okay so you definitely want explosive shielding on all your uh, power armor pieces right so that is pretty much it I notice I don't have a miscellaneous mod on my torso I'll take care of that later so that's it um, weaponry like I said this is a stormtrooper build all right power armor laser rifle build and I went down and got the UP 77 unlimited laser rifle this is unlimited ammo capacity this makes basically means doesn't mean you have unlimited ammo it may, basically means that you never have to reload your weapon ever all right so this is going to be my workhorse this baby here you see the ammo counter is 999 and I currently have over 2000 fusion cell ammo all right I never have to reload the sucker this is great because um, this will allow me to keep an eye on my robot companion. So I never have to reload. I never have to go into VATS. This is going to be a, a no VATS run, all right? It's going to be pure action. Solid, no VATS, bam, 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 pure combat um, run, all right? And without like having the ability to not have to reload my weapon will allow me to keep my eye on my robot companion and um, see how she, he or she is performing. And that's about it. The other weapons here, I do have Old Faithful modded up. I may use that in a sniper situation. This is the, the laser rifle that you get from Arturo at Diamond City Market. Its special legendary property is it does double damage if the target is at full health. So I will be using that in a kind of a sniper situation occasionally. And that is about it. I also have this 45 SMG, the submachine gun I found that has a legendary property of ignoring 30% of the target's damage resistance, damage and energy resistance. So I may try that out. Bring that on board. I've called it the 45 SMG penetrator. Bring that on board. Uh, and I have found this pretty good two shot 38 cal pipe rifle. That's what I was using throughout to make this build. Okay, so I'm up to level 19. I used this extensively to create this build. So I'm just bringing that along as backup. So that's pretty much it. Those are my weaponry. Like I said, the UP-77 is going to be the workhorse. 
going to be using a little bit of the Old Faithful and maybe a little bit of this. This I should really dump, but since I have such a huge carry weight with my power armor, I'm going to bring it along. So that about covers it. Um, let's get down to business. Let's get into combat. Automatron DLC starts right now. Enough of the preamble. Once you get up to level 15, this quest here becomes available. All right. And our first objective is listen to the caravan distress call. So let's go over to the radio. Caravan distress frequency. What's happening? This is an emergency broadcast. Our caravan's under attack by hostile robots and needs some serious help. We're just east of Watts Consumer Electronics. If anyone in the vicinity can come help, now's the time. Ada, loop this message. Okay, let's wait for the objective yes, to update. There we go. It is. It has updated. Our new objective is, is find the caravan. So we can turn this off. Go back to the quest. Mr. Map, where is this? Mr. Map says... Mr. Map malfunction. Where is this? Well, let's go back out. There we go. <laughs> okay, so it's just east of, say, Cambridge Police Station and or Corvica Assembly Plant. Let's go to the Cambridge Police Station and work our way over from there. Let's do it to it. Okay, there's the Cambridge Police Station. Shields up, Scotty. Let's just run along the street up there, up there, and up to the location. Got lots of fusion cores, and my fusion cores last a long time, so I'm going to do a little bit of sprinting. Even though this even though this runs down your fusion core a lot when you sprint in power armor. But you all know that, right? Survival Beta, the new survival mode hardcore survival difficulty setting that Bethesda has been working on. They released it in beta for PC gamers a month ago. It's coming out for consoles next week. Next week, people, you get to play the new hardcore, disease-ridden, hunger-ridden, thirst-ridden, gotta rest, no fast travel, no quick save, Hardcore survival difficulty setting next week for console users. Yeah, and I'd like to remind everybody I'm doing a real walkthrough of survival beta um, on my other channel Major Slack videos So check it out Put a link in the video description. Here we go. So it's on we're at the location Shit is popping shit is popping So it's time for a little psycho Gun down everything that moves. Okay, now keep your distance until everyone's finished blowing up. <laughs> what did I tell you? Dude! Oh, man! <laughs> Poor little guy. <laughs> Who's did? We have liftoff. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there's a game telling you about robot repair kits. You can pause the video and read that up if you so desire. I'll get into that later. We had a legendary here. Poison or Knuckles? What's this all about? Target is poisoned for 10 seconds. And I can't even wear these because I'm wearing power armor. That'd be fun, but... Uh... 
Okay, let me just quickly uh, loot around here. Uh, just a quick loot job. I'll do a better loot job off camera later on. You definitely want to loot a lot when you're playing this DLC. Because the robots are going to drop modding parts. You collect parts. You collect modding parts as you play through the DLC. And you can use those mods to mod your uh, robot companion. I'll get into the robot companion in a minute here. This is new. I've never seen this happen before. Okay, it's a good thing I took some time to... Okay, I, like I said, I'm going to take a good look around afterwards off camera to collect everything here in this uh, area. And I strongly recommend that you take a good look around as well. For now, let's pop out of the power armor, put on our business suit. That is, bump up our charisma and have a talk with Ada. Just a beer ought to do. You don't need to waste some great mentats on this because these are just a couple of yellow speech checks, okay? So this will bump up my charisma to seven. That ought to do her. There's Ada. My friends did not survive the attack. Thank you for assisting. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Are you okay? Physically, the damage is minor. But I am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends. It may sound strange coming from a robot, but they were my family. Again, I thank you for your efforts. I know they would have thanked you as well. I'm sorry for your loss. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Who's Jackson? Jackson was the leader of this caravan. He had a great mind for technology. In many ways, he is my creator. He installed all my current upgrades. Unfortunately, they were not enough to protect them from the robots. You're upgraded? Yes, modified using a robot workbench based on prototype schematics. The workbench allows for a wide range of robot modifications. Perhaps if I had more sentry bot based defenses, I could have successfully defended my friends against those robots. They must be targeting you for some reason. Probability is high that I am part of that reason. Besides myself, Jackson also created Turing, Hertz, and Porter. Our built-in modifications would be desired pieces of salvage. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. You couldn't have known something like this would happen. The probability of attack was high. I should have forced our departure. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. Who's the Mechanist? The only information I have comes from the iBot broadcasts. The false claims of peace and justice. The only certainty is that these robots bring only death. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this Mechanist. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench, so you have additional resources in this undertaking. You want revenge, don't you? I wish to prevent these Mechanist robots from destroying further innocent lives. Now, we last saw a group of the Mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the Mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Can't believe I failed that second speech challenge. Anyways, okay. Um, pretty tough yellow speech challenge. Okay, so... Are you, are you sure? sure? You're up for it? Yes. I will not rest until the Mechanist is stopped. Yeah, let's go, Ada. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there. There you go. So, a good portion of backstory explaining exactly what this is all about. This is our new robot companion, and we are out to wipe out 
the big bad mechanist and we can now build a robot workbench so before you do anything else I see other walkers just rushing right into it and going straight on down to uh, the General Atomics factory which is our next destination let's go back to sanctuary and build a robot workbench and mod Ada yeah And before we do that, um, like I said, let me just take a good look around here and salvage and loot everything in this area. Okay, I'll be right back in a minute. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so we got everything. Let's go back to Sanctuary and build us a new robot workbench. Okay, out of the power armor we go. Let's dump the junk. Have a sleep. Access your workshop. And booyah, you're going to notice a new option here. Robot workbench. Okay, so we got a nice big area here. Cleared out from like uh, dismantling a wrecked house. Let's just slap the robot workbench right down, boom, here. And this is what we can use to either mod Meta, mod, mod Ada rather, with a whack ton of, like, there's just so many things, okay? I'll go through this next video. Or, you can build yourself a whole new robot. There we go, new automatron. All right, once again, I'll get into this next video. So there you go, Automatron DLC. Up and running. Uh, yeah, next video. We'll mod Ada up, we'll give her a makeover, and then we'll get right back into combat when we go down to the General Atomics Galleria and see what's happening there. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining, I don't know, or informative, please subscribe to my channel for more kick-ass follow-up for Automatron DLC videos. See you next video.